Hello, I'm Matt Potts, and I'm sat in the middle of the road. There are people all over the world in the camaraderie movement sitting down together and looking out for each other. We think it's the best way through tough times. So I thought today we'd have a cup of tea. I'll talk to you, and you get back in touch when we start a conversation. One of the things that wasn't crappy about 2020 was that beneath the deafening noise of disagreement everywhere, people were getting each other's shopping. Despite all the disconnection and division, both physical and literal, people were singing on balconies and clapping on their doorsteps. We've been saying for years in Camarados to come together with strangers, but we saw it happen. Don't get me wrong, there's been some strong opinions in 2020 on politics, on race, and the virus itself. People convinced it's a hoax, and other people thinking people are being too casual about it. I love a strong opinion. I've hated country and western music all my life. But, you know, it makes it hard to come down from my high horse when someone plays me a great Dolly Parton track. I mean, you've got to love a bit of Dolly. So what's this metaphor I'm sledgehammering you over the head with? Well, I wondered what you thought of the expression middle of the road. When we think of middle of the road, we think of things that are easy, unchallenging. It's actually quite brave and radical to be in the middle of the road, to meet people in the middle. It's a lot easier to just hold strong opinions and make others feel too scared to speak. It's better to sit down and engage with them. So here's a question. Could you sit down with the racist? Would you do that? I tried recently and failed miserably, stormed off. But we've got to try, haven't we? We all like the idea of looking out for other people and, you know, kindness is big, isn't it? We all tell our kids to be kind. But it's hard to do that with someone you don't agree with. It makes you feel irritated, angry, unsettled. All of which, of course, is completely natural. In fact, you should get fired up about politics about human rights, about all number of things, things that matter, things that affect people's lives. The only problem is, is as you're getting fired up, your ears tend to close to other people's opinions, I have found. And also, you watch other people recoil from your strong opinion. I have to say, I'm feeling slightly confused about whether we should protest. I mean, of course, it's a good thing to do, but I went on a protest recently, and a guy sped up in his car, revved his engine, screamed at me and went off. And I thought to myself, as I held my placard, did I really change hearts and minds there? I don't know. What do you think? I'm starting to question that. So look, there's limitations to this metaphor. It's a disaster for road safety for a start to be in the middle of the road. But maybe in life we should all move to the middle a bit. To just maybe not know what I think about things sometimes. Just to not be sure. That's all right. This is what it is to be more human. So be a camarado, be more human, and get in touch. Tell me what you think. Let's start a conversation.